I love the visibility here. <laughs> My name is Jessica Hopis. I work for Marone Bio Innovations and I'm an assistant research scientist in our water technology division. We are collecting quaggas because we work for Marone Bio Innovations. It's a natural company that develops natural solutions to pest problems. Uh, the product that we're going to be working with these quagga mussels on is called Zequinox. It's naturally derived from a strain of Pseudomonas fluorescence, a naturally occurring bacteria that is everywhere. It's under your fingernails, it's in roots of plants, and it's very species specific to quagga and zebra mussels. They don't find it threatening, they ingest our product like it was food, and a couple days later they die because it attacks their stomach lining and they can't handle it. It's very safe to all other species, aquatic and land. It's natural, so it's non-toxic to humans, requires minimal person protective equipment and is very easy to apply with application times at six hours. Yeah, we're out here on Lake Mojave today and we're collecting uh, quagga mussels for Marone Biomedical and they're going to use those for some research in creating their product that helps uh, eliminate quagga mussels from pipe and pump systems all around uh, the, the lake areas. Yeah, today we're out there and we collected uh, about a hundred liters of, of quaggas. From there we then sorted them out, separated them by size, cleaned out the dead ones and the dead shells, packaged them up, and we're shipping them back to the lab. Invasive zebra and quagga mussels are filter feeders and feed primarily on algae. They take in food through an inhalant siphon tube that they extend from between their shells. In this video, a scientist from Marone Bio Innovations demonstrates how a zebra mussel readily consumes a product called Zequinox, a microbial-based control product for invasive mussels. Using a pipette, the scientist passively injects the Zequinox product into the water in front of the mussel. You can see how the mussel uses its inhalant siphon to take in the solution. Also notice how the muscle quickly retracts and stops feeding when it senses a threat. But then, once the perceived threat has passed, the muscle continues to feed on Zequinox, completely unaware of its lethal powers. Zequinox is comprised of dead cells from a naturally occurring bacteria. These cells destroy the muscle's digestive system when consumed and cause death. But while deadly to dry sanded muscles, Zequinox doesn't harm other aquatic species and provides the industry with an environmentally compatible weapon to help win the war against invasive mussels.